Hi, this is Sukhdev Kapoor from Arista Networks. In this short video, I'm going to show you a demo of Arista ML2 driver interacting with Ironic and Nova to orchestrate the bare metal deployments as it does for virtual deployments. Uh, in this setup, I have on the left-hand side an OpenStack controller, which essentially is running Neutron uh, with Arista ML2 driver and Ironic and uh, Nova services along with the other OpenStack services. ML2 driver is talking to Arista CVX on EAPI and uh, Arista CVX is going to auto provision Arista switches. In this case I'm using one switch with two ports on Ethernet 1. I have a controller uh, connected and on Ethernet 2 is where my bare metal node is connected. Uh, let me switch to my screen so that I can show you the details. I have created two networks. One is a provisioning network which is on 100 subnet. The provisioning network is utilized for the deploy phase of the bare metal uh, server. During this phase it uses this network, provision network, to fetch the image uh, from the TFTP server and once the image is fetched it will then uh, reboot and connect to the tenant network which is on 200 the interface okay so same networks have been uh, learned by the Arista Tor okay the provision network is on VLAN 98 and the tenant network is on VLAN 35. So essentially VLAN 35 and VLAN 98 are of importance to us. For the bare metal deployments uh, we need the physical connectivity information. So here is the port and if I go In this case, you will notice there are a couple of uh, fields which have been added to the port structure of Ironic in the Liberty release. Okay. One is local link connection. What this essentially states is that bare metal server is physically connected to which switch. In this case, we are connected to a DSC 7050 switch and port ID. Uh, remember I mentioned earlier that the bare metal node is connected to Ethernet 2 uh, port of the switch and the switch ID is this and if we go here look at the node and you will notice that the switch information is what we have entered into the port structure here and the switch ID is the same as switch ID mentioned here okay at this point if I switch and look at what is happening and, and you will notice that I had uh, my two important networks are VLAN 35 and VLAN 98. Okay, since I've created those two networks, they both have DHCP instances uh, running on them. So what it means is the switch has connectivity to the DHCP ports only. Nothing is configured on ET2. That's where the bare metal server connects to. So, so having said that, uh, now I'm going to launch the bare metal instance. I am launching the instance at its port list. So you will notice a bunch of ports would have been created. One of them uh, of interest is the port on 200 uh, network. As I mentioned earlier, Nova would have created this port but would not have bound it. So this is an unbound port. Network exists, the port exists, but nothing is connected to it. And uh, uh, if I go back, and another port of interest is this port, which is on 100 network. So instance is presently booting of, of this node. If you notice, that port is bound. It, it has the physical connectivity information. The VNIC type is bare metal. If I go 
on the right hand side and I say show open stack instances and you will notice that my bare metal uh, BM1 is actually booting on provisioning network okay and if I say show VLAN you will notice that VLAN 98 which is what I mentioned earlier is now configured on ET1 and ET2 thereby providing the full connectivity between the DHCP and the TFTP server to the bare metal server. So let's go look at the VNC of the instance. So here you will notice the instance is booting up uh, on 100 network. So at this point, the instance is booting. Uh, once the pixie booting uh, is complete, at some point a network flip would take place, which means we will switch uh, that instance will go through the reboot and it will disconnect from the provisioning network and will switch to the tenant network. So if you notice now, the network flip has taken place. So earlier, the VLAN 98 was on Ethernet 2. Now VLAN 35 is. VLAN 35 means now we are on the tenant network. Okay. If I go and show instances, if you notice, earlier the instance was on a tenant net, now we are on a tenant network. Earlier I mean we were on a provisioning network. So at this point, the instance has come up. And now if we see here, and you will notice the VM is in active state and it is in a running state. Our instance now at this point is ready to go. So. this point if I go and say if config uh, you will notice that the instance has booted up successfully and it has the right IP address okay so that pretty much uh, concludes the demo uh, which I wanted to show if you have any questions feel free to ping me again this is Sukhdev Kapoor from Arista Networks thanks for watching